All right, if you're like me, you're kind of a messy coder. Sometimes I don't always use the correct indentation or I'm thinking of something and I'm like, okay, I'll come back and fix this later. I'll make it look good later. But right now it's just kind of a mess. Or maybe you don't always use consistent quotes. Maybe sometimes you use double quotes instead of single quotes or you forget to add a semicolon. So at the end of the day, your code can end up looking pretty messy. Now, th this is usually not as bad as it gets. I kind of jacked this document up just for the purposes of demonstration. But with this tool called Prettier, you don't need to write clean code anymore. Watch this. So this code has all this jacked up indentation quotes and it's missing some semicolons. But if I just save this document, then Prettier automatically fixes all the ugly, all the ugly styling that I've done with this. So Prettier just makes it so much easier to have nice clean code with no effort whatsoever. And another really good thing about Prettier is maybe you and your coworkers have different, different coding style. So maybe he uses semicolons in JavaScript and you don't or something like that. So if you're collaborating on a, on a project together, then it can get really messy really fast if you don't have something like Prettier to kind of set a code standard for your entire project. So that's why I use Prettier for everything I do. Now Prettier works for JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. It doesn't necessarily work for everything else. Here's kind of a list of everything that it does. So as you can see here, we got JavaScript, and that's React, TypeScript, every different flavor of JavaScript, CSS, HTML, GraphQL, Markdown, and so basically all of that, you're not really going to see it in a lot of non-JavaScript languages. I mean, there's community support for these, but it's not like official support. So it's kind of use at your own risk. I've never actually used any of these because I'm mostly a JavaScript developer. So that doesn't really bother me. But yeah, this is great if you're a front end developer or working primarily with JavaScript. It's just going to make your life so much easier. And yeah, this is just JavaScript, but I can also open up uh, HTML document and have prettier fix it too. So let me fix all that and it works on save, which is really nice. So let me just show you how to install it quickly. Prettier is supported on all these different editors. Uh, probably most of you are using VS Code. So the way to get it set up with VS Code is to install the prettier extension right here, which I've already done and then open your settings because you can run the prettier command once you do that. But really the best way to do it is to have it automatically run whenever you save your document. So let's search for format on save. And then you just want to check this right here so that prettier automatically formats whatever you're working on on save. But I'm actually using Vim right now. So instead of that, I'm going to uh, be using one of these Vim plugins right here. So Vim Prettier is a good plugin right here. If you want to use this, basically what you do is you load it with your plugin manager and then you put this line, you put, uh, let's see. Yeah, so you load the plugin and then you add these two lines inside your VimRC and that will automatically format it on save. But I actually use COC, Conquer of Completion, with Vim. So if you're already using that plugin, say, for autocomplete functionality in Vim, then you can just download this COC Prettier plugin. So let me open up my VimRC so that you can see that. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is my VimRC. And so down here, with all these COC plugins, I just also have COC Prettier. And then the next time you open Vim, it'll automatically install that and that'll work. And in order to set that up correctly, you want to open your COC config and then add this line right here so that it automatically saves on all these file types. So JavaScript, React, HTML, CSS. All right, so that's what I do to get that functionality in Vim. Let me just delete these for now so you see how Vim works out of the box. Okay, now that we have Prettier installed, uh, you have to keep in mind that Prettier is an opinionated code formatter. So it already has some opinions about how your documents should look that you might not like. 
So by default, Prettier has these uh, just double spaces for indentation. Maybe you don't like that. Maybe you like the four spaces or even a tab. And by default, uh, it trims your lines. So if you have a line that's really long right here and it's more than 80 characters or so, then Prettier will put it on separate lines. So you're not really allowed to have one really long line. Let me show you better with this one right here. So see, pr Prettier divided this long text into separate lines, and that's just so it's more readable. If you have some really long lines that just stretch on till infinity, it's kind of difficult to read at a glance when you're, when you're looking over your code. So I actually like all of Prettier's defaults, but you might not. So there is a way to change these. So what you want to do is you can do it uh, locally or globally. So you can change Prettier settings on a per project basis or globally. For a per project basis, uh, if you're working with a team, then I would actually recommend installing Prettier uh, locally to your project, not globally. So let's say npm install Prettier, and then it's going to be saved locally to your project inside the package.json. And this is good if you're working on a team because you all want to be on the same version of Prettier. You don't want to have a different version installed to your computer that your coworker does because then you're going to get some maybe some weird formatting because they don't really play well together if you're using different versions. So yeah, if you're going to be collaborating, I'd install it locally and then any prettier plugin that you use will use this local version inside your project rather than the global one installed to your computer. So once you have that done, if you want to if you want to change some prettier settings on a per project basis, you would create a prettier RC file. So that's prettier RC. And then you can paste in uh, all these different configurations. So you can write it in different languages. I'm just going to write it in JSON and save this. And these are kind of the main settings that you're going to mess with. So once you put in this prettier RC, uh, Prettier will by default grab the configuration from the Prettier RC file inside your inside your current working directory. So this this will override any global settings that you have. So if you're working with the team, then your whole team will follow these Prettier rules. So right here we have the tab width to four instead of the default two spaces, and we have semicolons to false. So semicolons will not be used in JavaScript. Some people prefer that, and single quote is equal to true. So instead of these double quotes inside your JavaScript, you'll just be using these single quotes, which is just a matter of preference, of course. And then trailing comma, it has a few different options, but this is so if you're inside your JavaScript. So with the trailing comma option in Prettier, what it's going to do is if you have a multi-line array, like you're putting some value in here, uh, another value. then it's going to put a trailing comma at the end. So if you want to add additional lines, then you don't have to go here to the end and add a comma and then add a new one. So it's going to, if you leave this off, it's going to automatically put a comma at the end. Only on multi-lines, so if it's just on a single line, it's not going to do that, but that's what that is. And so now you see with the Prettier RC, uh, we've removed all the semicolons and we're only using single quotes instead of double quotes. So basically you can customize it however you like with each project. So yeah, if you're working with a team or you just want specific options for your current project, then that's what you do. You use the prettier RC. But if you want to if you want to change the global settings, then you would open up your configuration file. So for me it's coc config and then you can add options down here. And you can find a full list of the options on Prettier's website. There's not a whole lot of options because like I said, Prettier is opinionated. It kind of wants you to conform to their style guides, but you have a few options here if you really want to. But uh, let me add some of these to my Prettier config. So let's say I like having the, the bigger tab widths. So I'm going to make this uh, four instead of two. 
and let's say I like to have single quotes. So I'm going to add this prettier single quote, make that equal to true. And of course, if you're using VS Code, then you would uh, just open your settings dot JSON. Uh, where is it anyway? And you would pull, you would you would paste that in here. So prettier single quote true, and then you can configure it like that. So if I save that, obviously the prettier RC is going to take precedence, but I'm going to remove the dot prettier RC open up the index.js, save this, and we now have our semicolons back, but we still have our single quotes like we defined in the config. So that's how you do it. For me, I mostly work with, for me, I mostly work on my own projects. I don't really collaborate on a team all that much. So that's basically enough for me. I just set my prettier, con I just set my prettier settings inside the config file, and I don't really bother with the prettier RC all that much but it's something to keep in mind if you do work with a team. So that's Prettier. It's a really nice way to just make your JavaScript and everything that you do a lot cleaner. Like I said, it works with a lot of things, so even when I'm, use even when I'm writing Markdown, I'll use that. All right, so you now have my permission to write as much messy code as you want, save the document, and make it look beautiful. All right.